let's talk a little bit about this. Just give me kind of a sampling of your client base and you know the the, the executive summaries that you've been sent and, and, and presentations. What percentage of those, as you get them kind of on an unfiltered basis, do you think are excellent and really suitable for raising capital and you know for the audience of, of an investor? Sure. Well, I'm going to go. I'm going to go really high. Which which percentage is suitable? And I'll say one percent. It might be less than that. I mean, in all honesty, it is um, almost unheard of that I get an executive summary and you know the pitch materials, the PowerPoint from a from a, a company and a founder the first time, and it's ready to go. I don't know that that's. I might be hard pressed to find a time when that's ever happened. Wow. Um, and, and I think there's reasons for that, right? I mean, the reality is, look, you know, you and I, we're, we're we're in the business of reading these things all day, of helping people write them all day. It's what we do. The reality is, most founders, that's not what they do. That's not their business. Right. So they're doing this for the first time, or even if it's the second or third time, it's not something that they've done over and over again. They haven't read tens or hundreds of these in the course of over, you know a month or over the years yeah so I think it's not all it's not really that surprising and I think that's why there's there's so much demand out there for people to get help in getting their executive summary right and getting their business plan and their PowerPoint presentation you know directed towards the right kind of uh, individuals